today we're looking at a V12 bi-turbo AMG, the ultimate G-Wagon, boxy boy. Check out this cow catcher, chromed out all the way. What's this, some kind of night vision? No, that's a assisted cruise control. We've got the parking sensors. We've got side exhaust coming out both sides. Single piston rear caliper. Six pop front calipers though, drilled and slotted. Factory AMG wheels. Look at this vent out of the fender. Carbon fiber. Engine built by Christian Kenzie. And drafted B12. Twin turbo. Here we got a jump post. Looks like it wanted me to slide it on and off. Look at that, it slides. I took it off wrong. Battery and rear footwell. We just got one ECU. I was maybe expecting this, but I'm assuming this is for both banks. One bank here, one bank here. The intakes go inside the fender. I'm just learning about this as I go. Looks like here we have the oil dipstick tube. If I pulled this off, it would probably have a vacuum leak. Oil filter right here. Power steering. Turbos are nice and visible. Both sides. Here we have the intake for the HVAC system. Cabin air filter right here. I'm assuming uh, this is probably for, maybe one of them's for an intercooler, maybe it's air to water, I don't know, but we got another coolant bottle right here. The turbocharger on this side. Everybody wants to hear what the doors sound like. We have a button. Can you pop the uh, fuel cap? Those tail lights. G65. Oh, it doesn't need popped. I just open it normal. I thought it might have been locking. Minimum octane rating of 91. We got the full size spare. Big swing out rear door. Huge rear door. You could fit some big dogs back here. Rear approach.
approach angle. Got the solid rear axle. It's a German military vehicle. got the 115 AC outlet built in. Look at this pleated interior. Let's listen to this door one more time. Got the drain rails exposed on the top. Let's take a look at this door. Red hood latch. One way you can tell that a car has low miles on it is by looking at the gas and the brake pedal. Sweet sounding engine. We got a handbrake right here. Not those electronic parking brakes that they got nowadays. AMG badge in the seat right here. USB. What year is this? 2017. 2017. What's the MSRP on this in 2017? 230. 230,000 dollars. It's got some presents. completely stock. $8,000 matte silver paint. Check out these step rails. Look at these exposed hinges on the outside. I'm going to take a look at the roof. Can you open that sunroof? Ooh, silky smooth. All the way, does it go back any further? Can you hit the button? If you keep on hitting the button, it won't go? What about tilting back? Does it tilt back? No tilt back. The windshield is heated, is it not? Yes. You see these uh, see these lines in the windshield? Focus it on this uh, these black dots. There we go. You can see those faint lines. Oh yeah. yeah. There they are. So it's a little bit deceiving whenever you're looking at it and trying to drive. Your eyes can kind of focus on. This is what you'd find on a rear windshield with the heating element. It's a lot more faint on the driver's windshield, but this is one of the first things I would take off right here. I typically keep these stickers on here. They want to keep it as pristine and stock as possible. I would peel that thing off right away. Differential locks, but I guess you want that warning note. Never use differential locks on paved roads. Engaged differential locks limit the ability to move around curves. Got an Alcantara headliner. Airbag warning, rollover risk. Avoid abrupt maneuvers. 
and excessive speed. Always buckle up. Let's check out this glove box. Locking glove box, big handle. Garage door opener still. I wonder if the previous owner's address is in here. It's not a smart thing to keep your garage door opener in your car that you sell. Got a big screen. Differential lock selectors, heated seats. So you want to hear the door locks? Let's hear the door locks. Yeah. Can you shut your door? Yep. Big, hefty clicks. I don't know if that's power or vacuum. That's power locks. We've got the basketball hoop, cup holders, 12 volt cigarette lighter accessory. We do have an ashtray, psych. That's a little multimedia entertainment set up here. Same with similar to this. The K40. What is that? K40 radar, probably radar. It's got the- From, it's got from the, the factory? It looks like a factory install, but no, I would think it's aftermarket. So that was an ashtray. Yeah, it's got the sensors in the grill. Okay, that's why I was asking if everything was stock earlier. I guess it does have an aftermarket it does have radar. radar detector because this vehicle is faster than 99% of vehicles on the road from what I heard it's on the internet. Monster. Huge windows. Let's take a look underneath it. Factory exhaust. You know what that's from, right? A car cover. So we've got 738 foot-pounds of torque. Factory catalytic converters. You better watch, someone will chop those things off if you park it someplace. How much? 738 foot-pounds foot of torque. We've, 621 horsepower. We've got a solid front axle as well. Look at the suspension bars on that thing. The size of my arm. This line right here is the water level line. Water can go up to here, is that right? Yeah, that's what I've been told. So then we probably have some pretty good seals on this door. door latch is where we get that good thunk from. Speed operated door lock. Car weighs 5,700 pounds. Let's listen to this one more time. There you have it folks. Very clean. Guaranteed this thing's never been off-road. I would have been able to tell. 